Hello, this is MYDYA157C dev board powered by STM32MP1, which is ST's first MPU. On a career board, you've got CAN and RS485, which are isolated power signal. RS232, debug UART, JTAG, Type C DRP. Type C power input and DC jack 12 volt input. USB host. Micro SD card slot on the bottom side. Gigabit Ethernet. Wi Fi Bluetooth module and antenna connector. RGB 888 based LCD and HDMI. Mi PDSI. 2 mm pitch 20 pin male expansion header, user button, wake up button, and reset button. You also have a bunch of test points here to test voltage. The SOM cannot be taken out of the board, it is soldered down to the board using stem hole. The SOM is 8 layer design, and the career board is 4 layer design. The SOM is a minimum system which houses the main processor, DDR, EMMC or NAND flash, PMIC and Ethernet file. On the SOC, you have a dual-core Cortex-A7 processor at 650 MHz and a single-core Cortex-M4 at 209 MHz, that is a real-time processor. This is meant to be a very low power application. Your Cortex A7 cores will not run on a time. What is running on a time is an M4 core. Once the Cortex A7 cores arise, the M4 core wakes it, wakes it up. So the Linux is in a sleep state, not boot but resumes its operation and then it goes back into sleep state for a long time. This is how this low, low power Cortex A7 and M4 for heterogeneous multi core CPU architectures work. And of course, there's nothing stopping you from running everything all the time, but that's not a use case. On the GPU side, you have Vivanti 3D GPU capable of OpenGL ES 2.0 which is running at 533 MHz. There are uh, 512 MB DDR3, 4 GB EMMC by default. The bulk price starts from 20 USD. This development board supports running Linux operation system and is provided with software packages Many peripheral drivers are in source code to help accelerate customers' designs.